I'd like to tell you a short story. In 1874, in Jabalpur, two men were playing a form of billiards. Those men discovered that all of a sudden, a shot had become unplayable. One man turned to the other and said, you are a snooker. The snooker was a nickname given to somebody they felt they, they, they cared very little for. It was quite amusing at the time, to the point where they decided that this name would be given to the game that they were now playing. Little did these men know that this game, played in fun and named in fun over a joke, would become arguably the fastest growing sport in the world at this moment in time and a major force in television sport today. Over the past few years, we've grown from strength to strength. For the last three years, we've taken this sport from six events, now 32 events globally. We have 87 national governing bodies playing snooker around the world, competing actively, of which we are involved in, in development work. We're involved in working with schools, our sport has been taken into schools around the world. We've seen an increase in the basic arithmetic in young children just from playing snooker. We believe we truly have something special to offer. There are great events, of course. The World Championships in Sheffield, the UK Championships in York, major television events. We've seen new events added just recently. In Germany, the German masters have seen record audiences attend those events. Tickets have become scarce. And television, we've been sending our pictures to 77 countries around the world. And the introduction of the international championships in Chengdu in China and the growth of the sport in China and throughout the whole of Asia has seen our television audience grow to a total of 350 million people. It's an incredible achievement for a game that was played in fun and named in fun by these two gentlemen. But we believe, like I've said before, this is a special gift that we've been given and it is up to us to pass it on to the world.